What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droid's Finest, and I am back with Overlive Part 27. Let's get into it. Yes, I'm awesome, I know. Continue. I'm at day 142, so... Yeah. I guess I could use a day to rest. Felix the Cat. What does that do? Oh, that just does my psyche. I want my massage chair. Yes, rest. That's good enough for me. Do something else. That wasted a day. So let's go explore the rest of the marina. And then I gotta go back. I need, think I need to get that bus somehow. I can't make it to the highway or the residential area. I've checked everywhere else. But now that I've leveled up everything too, I might be able to do quite a few more things. Hopefully get my ass out of here. Explore. Okay, so what? There's only three more things in here? Well, that's a shitty waste of a day. Oh, well. Sleeping quarters. On one of the larger boats, you notice that the door of the interior sleeping quarters has been heavily boarded up. The only way in there is going to be with brute force. Bash it in. Ooh, I did it. You summon up all your strength and bash, bash through the barricaded door with your fists and feet. You're impressed with yourself. That's got to be the sturdiest thing you've ever bursted through. You're getting strong. Inside the sleeping quarters, you find two corpses you assume were a couple. The female clearly infected, has a bullet through her head, and the male appears to have died from starvation, his arms wrapped tightly around the female corpse. Wow. Uh. Come on, let's go. Harbor Master Station. I remember this. Come to a small building marked Harbor Master Station. You peer through the dirty room, uh, window and see movement inside. Zeds are heavily armored turned security guards. Quietly trying the door handle, you'll find it's unlocked. I guess I'll toss a bomb. Ah, cool. You open the door a crack and toss a bomb which explodes with a loud bang. You wait a few seconds and then proceed inside. The place smells awful. Aside from the zombie limbs that you just scattered all over the place, a number of partially eaten, bloated body, dead bodies on the floor. <sighs> Ugh, you hold your breath and move deeper into the building. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, to fight. Come on, hit him. Gotta be faster with that bat, bro. Just ain't quick enough with that bat. What'd I get? Huh, cool. Enter the control room and find a group of zombies congregated around the instrument paddles. After taking panels, after taking them out, you move in to examine the controls. What does all this stuff do? Okay. Am I on to something? I think I'm on to something. Maybe I can open something and take a boat somewhere. Definitely on to something. Something I wasn't on before. Floodgate controls. After scrutin scrutinizing the instrument panels, you discover what you believe to be controls to the marina's floodgates. If you can get those open, you'll be one step closer to freedom. Now, how do you proceed? Hack the computer? I did it! Cool. 
You connect directly to the control room's computer bypass the security protocols and open the floodgates. You watch through the control room window as they slowly grind open. Nice. This might be a way out. Like I said, might be. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know. It seems to have not opened anything, so... Of things inside one of the larger boats, you find an untouched first aid kit, a fully stocked fr bid, uh, beer fridge, and a collection of poems about the sea. After patching yourself up, you sit on the boat with your feet up, sipping a cold beer and reading poetry. So, this is how the other half lives. Okay, and that's all I can do here for now. As I try these other things, the Foot Locker and the Strange Glint again. Foot Locker. I failed again. Okay. Try this again. Might be different. I did it! Good! Good! After raiding the emergency flares, flare box, you notice a strange glint near the roof of the enclosed section of the marina. What could it be? You decide to try using the mar marina support beams to scale the wall. You climb onto the flare box and jump towards the beam several feet above you. Using the, your grappling skills, you manage to grab the beam and hoist yourself up. You've made it. You've still got a ways to go. It opened something, so let's keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Damn it. Balance precariously on the beam. You try to find another beam that will bring you closer to the glint. You notice that a stray support rope dangles from the ceiling a few feet over. Throwing caution to the wind, you jump for the rope, but can't get a firm grip on it. Ah. And you fall hard onto the dock below. What did you think was going to happen? Damn it, I'm still not good enough to do that. That's where the, uh, that's where the, uh, the freaky deaky, zeeky, uh, sword is. Oh, well. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna waste a bunch of days trying to check a bunch of crap that I probably can do now, but it's gonna take days to do it, so... I was trying to beat it with in 180, but that's it's fine if I don't I have more than enough days Okay, let's explore my room Come on room. What do you have for me? Why, why I haven't done this why didn't I do that? Connect the generator you attempt to hook up the generator You found in the basement your engineering skills pay off, and the gener generator hums to life. The apartment's lights flicker on, and you can now fully appreciate what a dump it is. Cool. So I got that all done. It didn't open anything? Well, can I fix the hole in the ceiling now? Fix it. I Oh, I did! Okay, I wasn't going to read that, because I know I've read it before, and yeah. Using the repair, the roof repair kit you found in the basement, you patch up the hole. Nice job, you say aloud. Wow, you're lonely. I got 28 supplies for that. Not bad. Okay, well, there's still nothing else I can do in here, unless there's something behind my face. There's nothing else I can do here, so let's just move down the list and find things that I can do. Room 106. Maybe I can fix that hole in the wall now? Or other things? I don't know. You never know. You just gotta check. Yeah, reinforce the hole. I think I got a welding kit from what I remember, so let's reinforce that. You examine your handiwork on the hole in the wall. You decide that it'll probably need some more reinforcement if it's gonna last. You'll need some sturdy materials for this job. More than just wood, a hardware store. Yeah, I did that. I go into the hardware store and I got it. 
Booyah. Okay, we're on to something here. We're all on to something. It's not just me, everybody. Using your sheet metal that you found downtown, you cover the hole completely and reinforce it. Feels sturdy. You're getting really good at this engineering thing. Proud of yourself, you survey the room and decide that once you haul all the corpses out of here, this might be a... might make a decent workshop. Okay. Well, at least I'm getting places now. I wasn't getting places before. I was getting nowhere before. Cryptic letter. Right? Okay, let's read that. While searching through the through a desk in the living room, you feel an odd wear in the bottom of the drawer. A secret bottom. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of us guys got that secret bottom. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> a Gumar, if you will. Okay, I'm done with that. I don't even have one girlfriend. I, what am I talking about? Okay. Inside, a letter marked with the same symbol you noticed on the envelope you fell, found in the basement. You open it and read the contents. Dr. Sullivan, it's too late to save your daughter, but you can save your wife and son. Come to the blue tunnel line... And the Ouroboros will protect you. We could use your help. Ouroboros, the blue line, one of the local subway routes. Huh. That may have opened something for me over in the subway. So, again, you really do need to take the clues that the game gives you and try to follow them. But right now, I don't need to. I have, like, so many days, right? Because I put it on roaming. But if I was following the clues that it was giving me, I could have probably done this a lot sooner. Like, even sooner than day 146 right now. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, apartment building. Let's go. Maybe I can hack the, uh, the rent office now. The apartment building is abandoned. No, I don't need to read that. God damn. It's wasting time for me to read that. Already read that. Bunch of times. So, mentally ill. Let's see. Does that work now? It did. Good. At the end of a dark hallway, you see it, you spot a dark fi figure bent over another corpse. Not wanting to ruin your mood. You go on. Well, what the hell? Didn't do anything. Ah, uh, didn't work still? I'm not going to read that, because I already know what it says. And you guys probably already know what it says, so. Hole in the floor. You notice a stockpile of explosives on the other side of a gaping hole in the floor. The hole is a few feet too big to jump to safety. Can I fix it? I did! Awesome! I remember that happening before, and I, I didn't fix it. I dropped planks through the hole. Using the planks on you found on the boardwalk... You fashion a walkway and carefully make your way across it. Cool, I got some supplies out of that, too. Okay, so that's all I can do in here? Yeah. Okay, fine. So I can't, still can't do those. Okay, so what's in the parking garage? Can I fix the bus yet? Do I even have the option to fix the bus down here anymore? I don't remember if, if I had that option. Locked trunk. I can do those now, probably. Locked trunk. Yeah, see. So, you spot a flashy-looking Cadillac and decide to see what's in the trunk. You jimmy it open. Find a fur coat, a cane, a crystal hand... A cane with a crystal handle, and some gold chain score. I'm looking good in the afterlife. Okay, convertible secrets. Can I do that? I did it! Nice. You search a convertible to discover that it has a computing system Im embedded in the dash. When you try touch the screen, it comes to life and asks you for a password. You connect your laptop via Bluetooth connection and hack it. Once in control, you try the admin options, including unlock the trunk. Inside is a cache of explosives. What in the world, Mr. Avatar's going to do with these? 
Oh, I'm out of time, but that's okay. Uh, okay, let me do this one last thing here and see what it's all about. A pipe bomb? Oh, I thought I got a new type of bomb. You came across an old El Camino and decide to see what's in the back. You pull off the tarp. You're shocked to discover a nasty-looking pipe bomb. You remain calm, and with serious concentration, you disarm it. You recover a substantial haul of TNT and nice C4. Did that open anything? No. Looks like I'm going back to my apartment. Actually, maybe I don't have to go to my apartment right now. I don't know. You know what, I'll go back to my apartment anyways. And when I come back in the next one, I'll continue doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna just keep searching everything. Next will be apartment and then the boardwalk and just trying to get rid of all of these, uh, these extra expl explanation points, so. Yeah, anyways, let me get to my apartment, and then I'll say, stay tuned. Let me go back, man. Okay, so, I'll be right back. Stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!